Hey guys, uh, this is the video I wanted to do for Connor. He wanted another way to power level. Um, as many of you guys have seen my video on power leveling a champion, uh, there's a few ways to do it. Uh, now that um, HBM, now that Here Be Monsters is out, that's some <laughs> that's some kick-ass experience. I know there's a video since seven got 150,000. Uh, that's incredible. That's that I can't even believe that they did that. That IGG put that out. Um, Wave E is great. Wave E is really good. Uh, it. I think the most I've ever gotten from it is like 74,000. 74,000 experience. Uh, it's really hit or miss though. Uh, the reason I like that is because you can see my towers are upgrading right now, but they're only level 6. And this is the only garrison that I keep in here. That ninja. Because I use my succubus on base. Because her HP is incredible for a naked lady. Uh, the other towers have no garrison. Uh, and I can beat this probably 9 out of 10 times with no troops in the bases uh, and just that one garrison uh, but this is definitely the pattern right here for the heroes if you have them set like this just because <clears throat> just because of the range that they have uh, my spirit mage is on the, uh, the level 16 base I might switch that up because it has a greater range I might switch that to the forefront um, and I've been thinking about these walls here. Uh, they That's the weak point right there, that corner. That corner. That corner. I really want to double wall those, but that'll change all this out here. Um, yeah, so wave E. Wave E is a good one. Let's see if I can get a clean run here in like 70,000 experience. I like this setup because the, the towers, even without garrison, they kind of wither the enemy forces away while they're messing around out here. And they still deal decent damage. Someone had commented on one of my videos uh, something about not being able to complete a wave or whatnot and saying that uh, my heroes were better than theirs and the game itself is extremely dependent on your heroes no matter what game type you're playing no matter what you're trying to do heroes play the most crucial role in the entire game every time so it's that that's just what it's gonna be your heroes I like this because now my druid's loaded. He's got his energy ready to go. It's going to be a heal. My succubus has uh, just under half, or yeah, just under half health. So he's going to heal her and heals for like 71 something, 7120 or something like that while he's on base. So that's a good chunk. That's about half. It's a little under half of what her her total HP is, so. So the goal here on the first wave for me is to have is to let that troop the, the troops and heroes clear all that crap in the front. Because now the fun begins. Now it's just all action. Uh, Thunder God is amazing in this. He is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I love it when they spawn right there, because these three items that I have right here, I just put my gold man there because it's my gold, and when I get actually raided, I don't want them just to be able to get everything. But they have a lot of HP. So it's almost like having, I think my guild hall has more HP than my town hall does. So, 
it's uh it's really easy to have the enemy units attacking all this shit while my my heroes are doing what they do So that TG again, I mean, he's just the MVP. And the Spirit Mage is the Spirit Mage. So right now I got my my tower with my ninja in it. Took a couple hits. But there's really no damage on anything. TG proc again. Succubus is going to go down right here. But this is the fifth wave, so as long as they make it through, there's a TG again. Boom. Boom, heals, done. So E5, 22,000 EXP. So 28,000, 30 shards, 22,000 gold, who cares? But the important part is that that 28,000 is split between five heroes, or six heroes. I could probably split it between five and just take this garrison out. But I kind of want the ninja to gain experience as well so that's a great way to do it my spirit mage is halfway to seven star I can't wait so that's my e-wave method to uh, to leveling so again thunder god extremely important uh, yeah so hopefully I can get the f-wave down I need to change the base layout a little bit to get the f-wave down and I'll be able to show you guys that one too. So, till then.